All right. But Waddle ain't going nowhere. He'll be around. Let's see how Chris Greer navigates this. Because what I'm trying to say to y'all with the proclamation that Waddle ain't going nowhere, that can almost solidify the fact that Tyreek ain't going to be on this roster two years from now. And if he is, by gosh, what does this team look like? What does this team look like? Oh, man. Man. That's why all this talk about Tyreek getting extended or restructured and all of this stuff. Okay. <laughs> but let's see if he's on this roster two years from now. When Waddle's money kicks in, because Waddle's going to get paid. Don't forget Jalen Phillips, Phillips, too. He's coming up, too. How are you going to handle that situation? You're going to take him to the ninth hour as well? Because now you set up to have to because you can't pay him big bucks off of these injuries, and it ain't like he's solidified himself as one of the best in the league. And don't mess around, and all of a sudden you went to the ninth hour, and that last year he now balls out, and you're like, how can I sign this $25 million guy now? I don't know. Oh, because Chubb got to go <laughs> to make room for Phillips. New con. See, the, and, and, and nothing's wrong with this rotation, but we're behind. We're behind. And now you got to deal with Javon Holland this year that you don't have a fifth year option on. The man finna play his fourth season, and he is an unrestricted free agent after that. He won his agent wants to get paid now which is rightfully so. And if he doesn't, if I'm Javon Holland, when we come to camp, I'm sitting out because my value has been solidified. My value has been solidified. Let's move on, man. That's the waddle. That's the whole waddle thing. And that's why this whole salary cap situation is funny. All right, moving on. 